Well, hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Empyrean Galactic Survival. Now, I know we're getting really tired of these new game starts, aren't we? <laughs> but here's the deal. As of today, boom, boom, this morning to be exact, yeah. They have... <laughs> yeah, okay, Dexter, thank you. Gone to... Uh... Alpha 8 is being stable. Sorry about that. I don't know why Dexter is being such an idiot here right now. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, so I wanted to just sort of more or less let you guys know that... Uh... Check inventory. Why? Uh, we might as well get this thing going right away. And get this down here. But yeah, I want to let you guys know that if you do start a world, you should have uh, quite a while to go before you have to worry about uh, them doing a restart or any of that other sort of thing. Because with the stable branch now, there won't be any more uh, releases until they get into Experimental 9, which they're saying is going to be a while. So, with that in mind, as I said, we're going to start a new world here. And... Uh, I thought that used to scroll all the way through. And what I'm going to do is, in fact, once we get by this initial little bit here, is cut and go next episode where I will be back at the point we were more or less at with the last one with the start of a base going on. Um, unless something has changed quite a bit in between, uh, that I'm not sure of, but I don't think so from reading the patch notes. Uh, I don't think that I'm going to be affected by anything too major until we get a little further along, so we should be fine. Geez, there's a lot of copper in this plane, isn't there? Not much else, but a lot of copper. <laughs> Which, of course, we will take all of. Eh. Holy cow. Look at all the wreckages. Small wreckage, small wreckage, small wreckage. Man. And we're, what, 200 meters from our original landing spot? Hmm. I think we uh, got ourselves a good seed. I just kept hitting random on this seed thing until it... Uh, Brought me a seed that only had five numbers instead of six. I figured, what the heck. <laughs> if that's as different as it'll get, that's as different as it'll get, and good for them. So yeah, I'm not going to run a very long episode here. This is all the exact same stuff we've seen pretty much at the beginning of, well, I guess from about Experimental 8-2 onwards. So... This is, as I said, just more or less a PSA to let you know that they have, in fact, finally released the stable candidate of version 8. And uh, it is playable and ready to go. I mean, obviously, it is still early access. There may still be bugs and that sort of thing. But uh, for the most part, as I said, it should be stable enough that we don't have weird things popping up in the middle of our bases and those sort of deals. Ah, there we are. Spoiled food. That's always something that's nice to have right off the get-go. And let's now go to salvage. And take this cargo box with us. I think you get like four steel out of a cargo box. You only get one out of the rest of these things. So. Yeah, four steel plates. All right. Whereas, like I said, most of the wreckage is only going to get you one. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, another one. Interesting. 
Very cool. Ooh, and some canned wedgies. I'll take those. There we are. All right, let's uh, head off to the next one. Oh, and I'm also, rather than actually have things spoil, um, these require two plant proteins. All right, anything else we can get? What do these require? Three fibers and two proteins. So we can make two of these. That's going to use uh, four, so we can make four of these. Okay, okay. Let's queue those up and keep them marching. Keep on marching. That one's 266. We might as well go to the close one first. Looks like there's more. Uh, probably copper deposits, although that one almost looks more like an iron deposit. We will have to go and check that out. I'm not going to leave any surface min minerals open to chance because uh, we do need all we can get here right at the beginning, of course. And that was kind of weird. I swear I saw that thing kind of fade into a yellowish grid pattern. N to open the building to what? Oh, 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 okay. That's what they're talking about. Makes a sense now. Never mind. I was right. That is iron. Brilliant. Oh, of course, I have to go back to rock drill. And we have some iron. Grab a little bit of copper. No, actually, this might be another iron. Mm, no, it is copper. Excellent. Alrighty. Let's head over here now and check out this other small wreckage. Ooh, level three already. Excellent. Save up those points. We will of course want to build an armor, an armor locker, and Oh, that's a cool-looking wreckage, man. Uh, the radar upgrade thingy will be very early into our list of things to do. Oh, some more copper. And here's our first box. Uh, more spoiled food and some medicinals. Antibiotic pills. Good. And let's tear you the heck apart. enough to give us anything else? Yeah, look at that. A second the box. Uh, optical fiber and energy pills. Hmm. I heard of energy pills before. Obviously stamina boosters, but... So one thing that is becoming uh, quite obvious from what I've been reading here on the forums about uh, this new, uh, well not new, but the uh, version of this that they're on now is that uh, apparently if you decide to build your base where the, uh, the wreckage is that they're trying to send you there, the yellow marked wreckage, what the heck is that? That was freaky. 
I heard an animal. <laughs> um, if you try and build your base there, you will get overrun with spiders way, way too quickly. Like, before you can probably safely deal with such a thing. So, we are going to do what I normally do and simply grab what's there and then get the heck out of Dodge and find ourselves a proper spot. Um, and by that, of course, I mean something near lots of resources and water. So... We will certainly do that. I'm just going to gather up a couple more goodies because I did see there was a few boulders. Oh, let's go back to rock drill. A few of these around, and I'm not going to waste the resources. Of course. All right, we can make more footage. Ah, there's the other rock. Oh, two of them. Let me move over here so I can see where this actually breaks. Instead of having the fern in the way and losing one. What? Copper, 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 huh? Alright, let's start heading towards this other wreckage. I don't really like the uh, look of this clear forest. Like, I mean, it looks nice, but... Yeah. Gives me that kind of... Uh, you can get snuck up on feeling. <laughs> oh. I hope we can build everything out of copper. Which we can't. I'm going to need to find a boulder or two of silicon. Look at that. There's more copper rock over there. But let's head to the wreckage, and we will, uh, I'm just going to say skip most of the resources, but anything that's directly in our path, of course, is just going to have to be sacrificed to our kit. Wow. I won't even have to mine copper by the time I get to the wreckage. Probably good, because there's certainly not a lot else in this particular bit of wood, is there? Like, so far as any sort of plants go. It also almost feels like this is a little quicker, this uh, drill. Hey, folks, and we're back. Sorry about that. Yeah, I actually went without a phone for almost three years because I got so tired of the fact that so many people will call you just to go, How are you doing? No, not bad. What are you doing? Nothing. You know what I mean? Like, people use a phone because they're bored. <laughs> Under the assumption, for some reason, I guess, that they think you're bored as well and would like to talk to them. <laughs> So yeah, that was uh, the phone, and it was pretty much just that. Somebody I know with very little to really have to say, but some immediate need to talk to me, apparently. So my apologies for having to interrupt the video. And uh, now back to the plant. <laughs> ah, I do need to monkey some stone here, because we have none. Oh, these are nice as well. But yeah, as I say, what we're going to do here is I'm simply going to try and get back to uh, a point where we've got a very basic base established, and then we'll get back into a regular series on it. Um, again, the point of this video was pretty much just to let you guys know that uh, they have finally gotten to the stable branch. Now, where did the other one go? They always give you two rocks. Come on. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> oh, well. So, but there you guys are. I hope uh, I hope you're as excited as I am to know that they're finally at this stage. Um, seems eight was a long set of uh, a long set of alphas to go through. 
But, uh, man, did it ever bring a lot of changes to the game. And I've got to say, most of them are really, really good. Uh, the only thing I don't look forward to is, uh, apparently they need to do a little balancing on the spiders. They are, uh, like they've instituted a system now where you can get various issues from running into beasties other than just damaged. Um, everything from fractures to poisoning to, you know, that sort of thing. Almost a, an RPG style, um, you know, debuffs. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Um, ooh, an iron deposit. Thank you. So, yeah, and apparently right now the spiders are pretty much a 100% guarantee that if you see them, you are going to get really, really damaged. <laughs> ah, copper deposit, iron deposit. See, they really try and keep you close to this new wreckage by having all of these, uh, you know, basically all the resources you need right at hand. But, again, I am not going to be doing that. This is going to be a hit and run. And... They also managed... Uh, yeah, and I don't want to be in the forest. Alright, I gotta make a beeline here. As I said, I don't want to end up being in the forest at night. So, let's get the hexy out of here. Grab what we can grab on the way by. And there's our silicon deposit. Alright. I'm about to run out of energy. Oh, another iron deposit. Interesting. And we're still 200 click out. Oh, not 200 clicks, sorry. 200 meters. Good lord, about 200 clicks out. <laughs> He's going, alright, well next episode we will continue our journey. Oh. I just don't trust that we might run into something nasty being a forest area. And forests are where, well, oddly enough, all the dang spiders hang out, apparently. So, seem to be really slow on the, uh, suck date here on getting my, uh, stamina back up. Alright, there's our wreckage. So let's get what we can get, and then I think I will... Pause the episode there, and when we return, I will have the basics of a base started. So, where have they hidden our lockers? Uh, ah, here we go. Could this be a way up? Hey, look, doors. <laughs> oh, look. Ah. Hmm, no, those aren't very helpful. Capacitor. Ah, there they are. And there we are. There's all our goodies. Okay. So, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to now head for the nearest uh, area with a little bit of beach and water. And uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, 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 I'm going to say right here. So, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to, uh, like I say, try and make the 600 meters to this new spot. And uh, I know it's the opposite direction where they want us to go, but hey. That's the beauty of open world games. You get to uh, go into the world wherever you want. So, till next time, guys, this has been Species 7. We are looking at the stable branch of Alpha 8 for Empyrean Galactic Survival. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave comments, do all of those wonderful YouTube things, and we'll catch you here next time. I'm out of stamina. Take care. Ciao for now.